Hello and welcome to Steve Knows. I bring good news, I bring bad news, I bring the future and I bring doggies in headsets. Brilliant. So let's get on with the news. Let's get started. So a sad update on this one, the PlayStation 5 HD camera with the PlayStation 5 release just around the corner and it's going to provide more power to our PSVR experiences, I was hoping that the additional hardware would do the same, such as the HD camera for the PS5, but this camera will not support your tracking for the PlayStation VR 1 on the latest console from Sony. So you will need to hook up your old camera in order to play the PSVR 1 headset on the PS5. You will also need an adapter to plug in this old camera as it doesn't have that proprietary part in the latest gen console. However, Sony did say that they will send you this adapter for free if you need one, which is kind of nice. They easily could have charged for that. Hold an apple. The PlayStation 5 will support the DualShock 4 controllers, Move controllers, and the Aim controller. At least that's something. It's just the camera then. Let's talk about Population 1. There is always bad with the good and vice versa. And that seems to be the case with Population 1. But hopefully this puts some of you at ease as some stress has been spreading through the community regarding microtransactions. We are not fans. Population 1, the virtual reality battle royale title, receiving mostly positive praise. And I am super excited to dive in and play. But the game got some backlash after people noticed microtransactions and got quite upset for a paid virtual reality experience with additional microservices, that is kind of against the traditional battle royale model that we've seen on consoles, where it's a free to play game, but with additional microtransactions. So we were in uproar, but the dev immediately responded on this matter pretty fast with a tweet with some FAQ such as, is this a pay to win scheme, which it is not. All of these purchases are purely cosmetic customizations. The only transactions are player skins and gun skins. No charges will occur for new maps, guns or other updates. Why is this store hidden? Which is likely what led to people being like, what the? Why are you hiding this store? But apparently the store is just not finished yet and it still won't be for its initial release of the title either. Let me know down below if you're still pumped for Population 1 on October 22nd, just after the Quest's release date. And don't worry, this game will be on both ecosystems, Quest 1 and Quest 2. You can enjoy it on both. A little bit of news on Nvidia and their release of the Cloud XR platform that is going to be hosted on Amazon's cloud services in 2021. Although this is focused on enterprise applications to enable them to stream XR business apps where perhaps the hardware is not available, allowing smaller businesses to provision and adopt XR devices and technologies without a heavy investment. But once this is proven out, who's to say this can't be released commercially and we can play PC VR titles on our wireless devices without a gaming PC? Nvidia have said that they can stream any OpenVR or Steam VR application to a Windows or Android system without any modification to the streamed app. It's agnostic. So I'm hoping this means we see more virtual reality in the workplace soon. And since this is enterprise focused, I won't spend much more time on this. Let's move on. We have more games receiving Quest 2 graphical improvements and some games that really needed it. One was a really ugly port and the other was a Quest launch title. These updates will be available at launch, bringing us a total of around eight games currently that are getting a nice graphical boost. So the first of these two new games, which you may have seen comparisons of already, is Arizona Sunshine. Oh, this game needed it. It played great, but it didn't look it. Which, by the way, I do have a key giveaway if you want to win Arizona Sunshine for the Oculus Quest. There is a link down below for a Quest giveaway, a Cookout swag box giveaway, and now a game key. So Arizona Sunshine, the changes have been better looking zombies in high definition. There's more detail on them, more enriched world. So there's blood spatters on the walls. There's more plants around. There's birds, even more zombies on screen at once. It also now has real time sniper scopes for your sniper elite skills. It has high resolution textures, which really does make a difference. The clarity of this game through the quest 2 with this update it is so clear the visuals still look kind of old but they are so sharp and clear you can also still play with quest 1 players do not worry for your cooperative experiences and a little birdie told me that they will be implementing 90 hertz 90 frames per second support once that is available on quest so the next game receiving a quest 2 enhancement update is apex construct one of the quest classics with its dystopian feel and futuristic bow and arrow mechanics so this game has removed that fixed heavy foveated rendering which many games have that have been enhanced for Quest 2 and it makes such a difference. The entire image is much clearer and it's more immersive. So high resolution has been enabled. 
the removal of foveated rendering has also been enabled. There are more particle effects, so it adds more drama. There are additional audio bites for your environmental interactions and additional ragdoll effects to the enemies. I'm really, really enjoying these updates and the headset isn't even out yet. And we're already getting improvements like this. I really look forward to seeing six months time from now, seeing what else is delivered and perhaps we're going to get even bigger games ported to the system. End Dreams have also released a quality of life update for Phantom Covert Ops, ready for the Quest 2 launch, which includes a ton of performance improvements for the new system and new achievements for you to unlock. So some games have hit the coming soon section of the store and there is also another game coming soon that isn't there. There are many games in the coming soon section but one that I have not touched on before is Star Shaman. This is an action adventure title that involves you conjuring magic with the use of gestures which is always great not having just the basic button presses and you have to fight your way through different galaxies. So you will be hopping between solar systems that are procedurally generated so you never know what to expect next. From the mixed reality trailer, it looks like a fun experience with a stunning art style and lots of color and can't resist that music. You are the champion of biodiversity. Go save the universe. Another game that is out of beta and coming on October 8th is Dash Dash World, a game that when it first launched, I was apprehensive about. It had a lot of issues, but they all seem to be ironed out. You now have a nice, decent little Mario Kart racer that if you have multiple headsets or friends around, will make a great VR party game. So you racing carts around each track, which they have managed to make very different from each other, which keeps it feeling fresh. So as you go around, you pick up weapons and those weapons can be used against your opponents to give you the edge. This is going to be available on all major platforms and has cross-platform play. And of course, it will also get a Quest 2 enhancement graphical boost and cloud saves coming soon. So you can switch between devices when you upgrade without worrying about your saves. This one, it's happened. This has to be the most epic, cutest story ever to grace the XR world. I love it. The US Army are trialing augmented reality goggles on their puppy companions. That's right, dogs wearing HMDs. This new innovation and idea is to allow dogs to receive commands when they are at a distance. And it's being coined Command Sight. Genius. Military dogs are experts at sniffing out and finding explosives and other hazards, but they need to be ordered to carry out these functions. Apparently, currently soldiers are using hand signals or laser pointers to instruct these dogs, which require you to be right near each other in order to work. So each AR system is also bespoke for each dog and will provide visual indicators where the dog should go scout out. Every time I see this Rottweiler in this headset, it just makes me melt inside. So cute. The future is happening. So the military have just received funding to create a wireless version of this device for these dogs to wear out in the field. What's next? Dogs can walk themselves using a treadmill and a headset. That sounds brilliant. Next is around virtual reality touch. Some advancements have been made that can be applied to virtual reality and augmented reality to enable us to have more realistic sensations of touch in our virtual worlds. So scientists have discovered or uncovered something coined the universal law of touch. It is the event of rally waves passing over the surface of the skin or objects when they are hit or struck. So these waves are felt when interacting with real world objects and pass through layers of skin and bone and react the same way no matter your age, color, skin thickness or hydration level of that person. It's apparently even the same through different species. It's a universal law. Although this is currently theoretical, they do wish to create these waves so we can have the feeling of touch, touching devices that don't actually exist in the form of a haptic like device. And they've been comparing it to Star Trek, the holodeck, where we can interact and feel objects that don't exist in a very real way. This is comparative to us understanding how sound works and sight works, we can now understand touch. Something you can do right now with me to feel these rally waves is put your wrist against your ear and lightly scratch your elbow. You can feel those tiny vibrations very, very clearly as they flow up your arm to your ear. I'll link you to this madness down below. It's super interesting and gets very, very complex. Of course, this is miles off, but hopefully one day this can be used. So that's it from me today, guys. Thanks for coming and getting caught up on the latest and greatest in the virtual reality space. Please subscribe to the channel, join the giveaways. Thanks to my patrons, you absolute legends. And remember, happy gaming, guys. Good day. And I finally just started the Steve Knows merch store. I know you've been asking me for it, and I would really appreciate some feedback on the designs. Let me know what you think, and I can make any adjustments. I'll put a link down below in the description.